how we went from 24 users to 771 users. Hey, Suxidu here, CEO of Stratus.com, an all-in-one coaching platform for fitness and nutrition professionals who love their clients. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the platform today. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link below this video and you can grab a free trial and have a play around with it. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video is talk you through our launch, how we went from 24 users to 771 users in the space of three weeks. We'll be sharing the highs, the lows, the challenges, and a play by play, by play of how we added those users. gonna be as transparent as I can be. Before we dive into all that, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, and just give this video a like because it helps with our performance in the YouTube newsfeed. So with all that said, uh, I wanna break this video down into a few, a few parts. The first one I'm gonna do, is, or the first part I'm gonna cover is a quick backstory for those of you who don't already know. I have done a couple of videos on this already, um, but we acquired the platform in November 2021. And then we spent four months just heads down in development. And I wouldn't normally recommend that. I'm a big fan of people just getting out there, putting their products out in the world and learning through doing. However, I've got an existing audience in the space and I couldn't just put anything out to them because there are some established competitors already. So we had to make sure that Stridest was a viable option for my audience before I launched something to them. I couldn't just let them down. Right, So I had to spend that time making Stratus the viable option and doing some additional development on top of what had already been built prior to us acquiring the platform. So that's the backstory. We acquired it, we spent four months in development. And now, next part of the video, what we did during those four months of development to set us up for a successful launch. So there were probably two things that were really important that I did for not only the initial success of getting users, but I think will pay off in the long term as well. So the first one was the amount of conversations that I had. Not only was I speaking to my audience in DMs, in Instagram stories, in polls, putting out surveys um, via email, and just having hours of conversations with people every single day in my audience, learning about what they like in their existing uh, options, what they don't like in the existing platforms they're using. Um, I was also having conversations with my, my peers in the industry. Um, I spent a long time not trying to sell anything, if I'm being honest, and just put out value, just helping other people. And I think that paid off big time when it came to asking my peers and other educators in the space for help because they all said yes. And they all jumped on calls with me, which was amazing. And not only did I get their feedback, but again, I, I built a ton of awareness. So through speaking with my audience, sharing with them and documenting the process, telling them what I'm working on, asking for their insights, their feedback. I was also building awareness amongst all those people, all my audience, all my peers in the industry, so they knew that Stridus was coming. And because I approached my peers, I keep telling them, my friends, my um, fellow educators in the industry, because I approached them asking for advice, I genuinely wanted to know what would I have to build in order for this to be something that you would recommend to your audience and feel confident in doing that? That's what I wanted to know. Not because I was desperate to get them to commit to partnering with me, but I knew that if I built what they wanted me to build, then that would kind of happen naturally. So it built a ton of relationships or deepened relationships with my friends in the industry. It also built a ton of awareness and effectively I'm building what they're asking me to build. So when the time comes, they will most likely recommend it to their audiences who, who are all uh, personal trainers, nutrition professionals and, and what have you. The same audience that we're trying to reach and help with Stridus. So that was the first thing, right? I got a ton of feedback and I built a ton of awareness just by asking for advice and for help from my audience constantly, all day, every day. I had hundreds of hours worth of Zoom calls with my audience with peers, acquaintances, fellow educators, and other people in the industry, as did my business partner, our COO, uh, Stephen, he did the same as well. And that just built a ton of awareness that wouldn't have otherwise been there, as well as making sure that we were building the right thing. The second thing I did, or we did, during those four months, was build a priority list. So because of all that awareness that was being created, because we were asking for feedback, asking for insights, showing people what we were working on, what we were trying to build, what we were trying to do, people wanted to, wanted to know how do I get this? When's it gonna be available? So we, we started a priority list. We started a bit late in the process, if I'm being honest, or we started it early and then just killed it, and like left it 
to kind of just be in the background. Didn't mention it, no links to it. Um, and then we left it a bit late to start growing it. But we ended up building the priority list around 1,300, 1,400 people, I think it was. Um, and we gave everybody on the priority list 24 hours access, 24 hours early access before public, um, which was important because a couple of our packages were limited in numbers. Uh, and that it worked really well. Again, all, a lot of these people had been involved in the creation process. They felt part of the process. They knew we were building something that they wanted. They knew we were listening to them. And they had faith in myself and the team to build something that would be right for them. So they'd been involved in the process. They joined the priority list. And because there were 1,400 people on the priority list, I assumed that that would mean we would get around 300 users. Not the case. So this brings us on to the next part of the video was what happened at launch. And this was both amazing and devastating at the same time. So the morning of the launch of the priority list, we actually ended up with 305 or 306 users within the first hour of launch, which was my target for by the end of the week. So in an hour, we'd hit that target. But then something really bad happened that killed our momentum, the social media buzz, the virality, and a few other things I'll touch on in a moment. And the platform slowed down to a point of being unusable. So it ended up being a silly um, issue with the site. Basically, we needed to upgrade our database. It was one click of a button, but it took us a full day to figure that out. And in that time, or just under 24 hours, in that time, we lost all momentum. Um, not only, but so the word of mouth was absolutely buzzing on social media. Everyone was posting about Stridus in that first hour and that kind of fizzled out. And not only that, but the plan was to launch our referral program on that first day as well at the peak of virality, at the peak of momentum, at the peak of that social media buzz. And obviously we couldn't do that knowing that the platform wasn't performing well. We didn't want to go to our users and say, hey, refer your friends. And our users would be like, no, why would we? The platform isn't even working. So we had to delay that, which again, probably impacted the outcome of the launch somewhat because we were moving quickly in that first hour. And I actually think that we probably missed out on a few hundred additional users had that not have happened, maybe even more. Um, it was really taking off. So that was a bit hard to take, but at the same time, we still had a better outcome than I initially expected. So that was the first huge challenge. And just to be super transparent as well with challenges, I'm not a fan of people acting like a successful business or success in business equals all life's problems solved or you know if you if you run your business correctly then you know anything that's going on in your personal life won't impact it because it's not true uh, i actually lost my dad during or just before the launch of stridest and it, it had an impact i went missing a little bit i wasn't performing in my business as well as i could have but that's totally normal right my dad passed away and all kinds of other stuff. Like, for example, I couldn't get home. I live in Dubai. He's in the UK. I couldn't get home for the funeral because I'd sent my passport off for renewal. I couldn't get an emergency passport because that would cancel my visa and I'd lose my residency status here in Dubai. Absolute chaos going on in my personal life. Sadness, loss, grief. And that impacted the launch as well. So I'm just saying that to be super transparent. Yes, we, we added 700 plus users uh, in the first three weeks. But it's not been a great time for me personally and it was impacted by what's been going on in my personal life. So with that said and done, um, the launch day was what it was. We got 300 years in the first hour, trickled over a few more during that first day. And then we kind of had to kick start again about two days after launch once the platform was working fine. Uh, and we ended up at about 600 users by the end of that first week. We, we rolled our uh, referral program out a little bit late, but we still had around 130, 120, 130 referrals. Um, and now today, three weeks later, we are up to 771 users at the time of filming this video. Most of our users are on free trials, but we've got a healthy amount on paid packages as well. And obviously in the next few weeks, um, a lot of people will be upgrading to paid packages as well, and then we'll see where we are financially or get a better picture of where the business is in terms of MRR uh, and revenue. And we're kind of debating at the minute whether or not to share openly our financial information 
the pros and cons of that and whether it just be an interesting experiment to completely build in public and share in public but let me know what you think about that would you find that interesting if we share things like our revenue our mrr our churn rate retention uh, average customer value stuff like that uh, let me know in the comments below hopefully you've enjoyed this video that was our launch it was chaos it was successful could have been better <clears throat> and we faced plenty of challenges too hope you've enjoyed the video plenty more to come in the series make sure you click subscribe and like this video and i'll speak to you all soon